Hi, my name is Chris Adams. I'm a lieutenant with the Grand Prairie Fire Department in Alberta, Canada. Uh, and this is our first Type 3 uh, wildland engine that we've uh, purchased. Uh, we purchased this because we've recently annexed a large part of, uh, of the county surrounding us and we wanted to make sure that we're providing the best customer service possible uh, for those residents. Uh, we chose to go with the uh, international chassis on this uh, simply because a lot of our current city fleet uh, runs international um, and then also with the Cummins engines our, uh, our whole fleet is coming, so it makes it a lot easier for our fleet managers and mechanics. So what we did on the inside of this truck is in the center console, we have a remote control uh, joystick that uh, controls the front monitor. Uh, this allows us to be in the cab and driving, uh, pumping and spraying water at the same time for ditch fires or quickly moving fires. Uh, we also have all the controls for the auxiliary pump uh, that's mounted atop the, uh, the pump house. On the inside um, of the cab again, We've put SCBA seat backs in all the seats. This allows us to have uh, breathing apparatus in the truck in case we get into an urban interface type situation where we do need to be uh, wearing our air packs. Uh, it's just a lot safer for the firefighters. All right, and what we've done on uh, both sides of the truck is we've added uh, SCBA bottle holders, um, just more air for the firefighters. Um, and then also in all the compartments, we've outfitted them with uh, pack track. This allows us just way more versatility when mounting any sort of tool. We can slide the mounts around. Uh, if equipment changes in the future, um, we don't have to be drilling more holes. It's an easy adjustment. Um, and then also in the compartments, we have fully adjustable shelves. They can go top to bottom. Again, adjustability and if there's any change of equipment uh, in the future. Okay, so this is the back of the truck. Uh, in here, we have a three section, 20 foot ladder. Uh, on the other side, we have our hard suction um, and then some pike poles. Uh, what we decided to do on top is put hose beds, uh, hose bed covers in, um, adds a, a, an additional layer of safety so firefighters aren't falling off the top when they're reloading hose. We also have storage for long handled tools up top. Um, in the back here, again, fully adjustable shelving unit and uh, one of our two booster reels on the back. Having it on the back uh, allows us to be able to pump and roll with firefighters dragging the hose but instead of them working to drag the hose, the truck can do some of the work as well. So that's why we put one back here. Um, and then just like the rest of our fleet, we have a, a rear view camera, just adds that extra level of safety. So this is our pump panel. Um, all of our handles are color coded to the discharge or intake on the truck, just like the rest of our fleet. Um, I mentioned earlier about having controls for the auxiliary pump on the center console. We also have second set on the pump panel itself. Um, Got an in-control 300 uh, pressure governor, same as the rest of our fleet. Um, this pump is rated to uh, NFPA 1901. Again, it adds that little bit of extra versatility and that extra pumping power uh, when we need it. Um, and this is a two-stage uh, pump, um, so transfer valves here. So we have the auxiliary up top, the main pump, um, and then this is our fur, uh, number one hose reel up top um, that comes straight off the side and then a, uh, a pre-connect for uh, inch and a half or 44 millimeter as we call it in Canada. So this is our front bumper configuration. Uh, we have our remote uh, re monitor. Uh, again, it's controlled by the, uh, the joystick in the cab and the center console. We have two uh, pre-connects for forestry line, one on each side. Got our, uh, our anchor point and winch connection for a 9,000 pound winch uh, in case we get stuck and then uh, additional lighting on the front of this truck. Um, in the winter, we only get about six hours of, uh, of daylight, so anything helps.